The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch and me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whenever or whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of today is the same Gospel we have last Sunday. But perhaps the question is, what is the connection of the Gospel to the first reading? What does it mean to remain and fulfilling the Mosaic Law. What is the Mosaic Law? The Jews has 613 laws. 613. Laws of worship, laws of morals, laws on how they live their life. That is the law that governs them how to wash your hands, how to wash your kettles and mugs, what do you do your, during Sabbath, how many steps you're allowed, what are the things you cannot do. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, and Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. And you also know, if your righteousness will not surpass the righteousness of the Pharisee, he will not enter heaven. Pag yun ang mga tiningnan mo, walang maliligtas talaga yata sa atin. Kaya pangahawakan natin ang habag ng Diyos. But, why is law given not choke us, not to choke us, not to brand, prevent us from living a life of freedom, but perhaps to have some guide fo post on what you can and what you cannot, what you should and what you should not. Alam mo yung hanggang saan ka lang, hanggang saan ka lang. At kampante ka na ay, hindi ko naman ginawa or nagawa ko ba? Nagawa ko ba? What is good about the Mosaic Law? In Israel, the only law that rules is the Mosaic Law. That's why you can find government officials Ministry of Health, Finance, even Prime Ministers go to jail. They go to jail. Why? 
because they have failed to do the law. No lawyers can, can help you get out of the law if you break any of the Mosaic law. No lawyers. If a lawyer tries to defend you because you have broken the Mosaic law, the lawyers will go to jail. Magandang practice yun. Magandang practice yun. Hindi yun naghahanap ka ng butas paano ka makakalusot sa batas. Alam lang lahat. The moment you break the law, you go to jail. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, baliktad naman tayo, di ba? Baliktad tayo. Yun ang ating palaging biro. Pag may ginawa kang kasalanan, huwag kang magpapahuli. Pag nahuli ka, huwag kang aamin. Pag hindi ka na makalusot, magturo ka para dalawa kayo nakakulong. Yan ang batas natin. Kaya namamayagpag ang mga korab, magnanakaw, manloloko, nandyan. Pero magandang pagtunan ng pansin. When God said, what glorifies the Father is when you bear fruits. Not only that you're able to do the law, but you ask yourselves, do you bear fruits? May bunga ka ba? May bunga ka ba? Let us go beyond the law of the states. The Catholic Church has the same. We have the law of worship, and we call it liturgy, the cult, C-U-L-T. And we have the law of faith, and we call it the creed. The creed. And we have the law of morals, we call it the code. The code, the creed, and the cult. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you cannot, you cannot say, I, I, I love you if you break the law. Halimbawa, you know that one of the laws is to honor your mother and father. Just as simple, honor your father and mother. And you ask yourself, do I honor my mother? Do I honor my father? When you fail to respect them, when you fail to provide for them in their old age, when you have failed to protect your mother being abused by your father, hindi ka nagsasalita na sabi nga o hindi, ka, hindi ko alam kung anong balak mo sa buhay mo na nakikita mong sinasaktan ng iyong ama ang iyong ina. A simple law, thou shalt not commit adultery. And we all know that adultery is not just breaking the relationship when we say, you had a sexual relationship not with your wife or not with your husband. Adulterous relationship means the relationship is not pure or adulterated. Anything that is not pure, adulterated. Nakikipagtali ka sa asawa mo, pero ibang laman ang isip mo. You have to learn to re-examine yourselves, not only what is sin externally, but what is, the, what is in your heart. As many times being said, it is not enough that we do the right thing, we must do the right thing for the right reason. You ask the purity of heart. Ang kalooban, hindi sapat na nagdadasal. Ano ang kalooban mo sa iyong pagdadasal habang pinagdadasal? Habang pinagdadasal. Nasusubukan yan ngayon, lalong-lalo na kapag meron kang mahal, na, mahal sa buhay na nasa hospital, nasa COVID, severe, alam mong parang metro yung gastos. 
Lord, kunin mo na lang. Kunin mo na lang. Ang laki na lang babayaran namin. Di ba? Kunin mo na lang, Lord. Dati pinagdadasal mo. Lord, kung talagang mamamatay, huwag mo nang pahirapan. Ngayon, Lord, ang laki na lang gastos. Kunin mo na, Lord. Di ba? Ano ang mga panalangin? Ano mga panalangin? Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, doon sa mga napakaraming taong nagpo-post how to avoid, how what to take, what kind of medicine, how do you discipline your life so that you will not get COVID, ngayon sila yung affected. Sila yung father, pagdasal mo naman, COVID kami. What happened? What happened? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. In the, things, in the things that we do, we are doing. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it is not enough that we do the law. It is not enough that we fulfill it. The more it is not enough that people look at us doing the law. As I have said, do not settle for impressions. God looks at the character or God looks at your heart. Do not depend on how you are being perceived by people. Look at your character. Because perception can be wrong and can be clouded. Again, look at your hearts in terms of how you obey the Lord. And second, how much of this obedience to the Lord really make you connected to Him and help you bear fruits. It is not enough that we do the right thing. We must do the right thing for the right reason. And not all reasons are rooted in purity of heart. It is in the purity of heart that we get connected with God. Amen. I go, again, I would like to reiterate that we are not monetizing any of our masses, recollections, talk, whatever. We are not monetizing it. But because somebody was able to get a copyright for all the songs, I do not know how they did it, and because of that, any songs being played in YouTube, they monetize it. So, just for your information, we will be muting the songs in YouTube. We will be muting the songs in YouTube. Sign language muna tayo pagdating ng kanta. Until those who are in authority can do something about it, still it's unfathomable how come responses in masses, Gloria, Lamb of God, Holy, Holy, how come they will get copyrighted anyway? There is something wrong happening. Going back to what I've said, my brothers and sisters, do not forget this. That doing the law is the minimum of love. Doing the law is the minimum of love. Disregarding the law means you don't love at all. So wag mo sasabing minamahal mo kung hindi mo naman sinusunod ang batas. Mahirap yung gumagawa ka ng batas, bawal magmura. Ang pwede lang magmura ay siya. Di ba? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.